Hey, and welcome to my next vlog. In this vlog, I'm going to show you some ways how I personally deal with overloads, meltdowns and shutdowns. Maybe more like avoiding them exactly. There are a few ways to do so and I will go through each one of them. I'm pretty sure some of your autistic people know these already, but maybe some of you don't. And that's why I'm creating this video for you guys. Sorry for the interruption, but over 90% of my viewers are not subscribed. And um, well, I would love if I had more subscribers and so please do so, like my videos, subscribe to my channel and activate the bell in order to receive any information about when a video is uploaded and when not. That would help me a lot and yeah, thanks. Because I want to help you guys out. I know how difficult and uh, unbearable a overload is. It can get very intense, leading to meltdowns and even shutdowns, which is even worse than meltdowns. So yeah, let's just start with the first tool I use for reducing the possibility to get into a overload, which is noise cancelling headphones. I personally use the Sony WH-1000XM5s. These are pretty good at cancelling most of the noises outside of the world, at least voices. We all know voices can get very unbearable for some of the autistic people, including myself. That's why I got these here. I usually go outside with them every time I go outside, of course. When I'm outside, I activate the noise cancellation with this but button. And I don't even have to listen to music. It does a very good job of cancelling any noises. It gets very silent, of course. But if you want to improve it even further, you can listen to music, of course. Then by this way, you won't be able to hear anything outside of these headphones. This is my first tool, my headphones. There is also glasses, not just glasses, but sunglasses. I have a pair that can turn into sunglasses which are these. Let me show you. At the moment I can't show uh, the effect of turning it into sunglasses uh, because it is uh, very dark outside. We have evening at the moment. But if it ha ever happens that the sun is hitting directly to the glasses, they will turn into sunglasses in few seconds or minutes. Why sunglasses, you ask? Well, let me explain it this way. When the light is getting very bright, many of us autistic people cannot proceed uh, the information correctly. It gets overwhelmed and therefore creating a overload. And it's not only the light, it's also the motion. Like if you are in a crowded place, if, you are, if there are many humans at uh, once, then uh, the sunglasses won't help there, but at least you can reduce the probability of getting an overload because of the light. If I ever happen to get inside of an overload, I always try to move away from the place where I got the overload. I know it sounds easy, it's not easy, because you never know what the cause of the overload exactly is. But just think about it. If you 
are in a place where there are a lot of people, where there's a lot of sunlight, where there is a lot of sound around you, then you just have to avoid that place. Just move further away from it and you should be fine after a few minutes. If I ever happen to get into a meltdown, I mostly lay down onto my bed and close my eyes and yeah, wait it out until it's over. Because you can't do much from here if you are ever in a meltdown slash shutdown. The best way to deal with this is just to shut yourself down precisely. If you can't do that, try to find a quiet place so the information or the sensory overload isn't getting worse than it already is. So you can slowly cool down. At least these are my personal ways to deal with sensory overloads and meltdowns and shutdowns. I know there are probably other ways to deal with it, but these are the ways I personally know about. If I ever happen to know any other strategic way to deal with these kind of problems, I will let you know. Yeah, uh, that should be it. I would be very grateful if you like my video, subscribe to my channel and activate the bell because that will support me and uh, help me a lot because I want to reach out to more people who experience the same problems. I'm not only doing videos about autism, I'm doing videos about everything on around myself, everything I experience. That's why I call it a vlog. I'm a YouTuber and I will always upload a video. When I think the topic is right for making a video, then I will create a video and yeah, show it to you guys. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for watching all the way here. I wish you a good evening. See you on the next vlog, guys. Peace.